Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming to my channel, D vs. Debt. This is D and it's Savings Challenge Sunday, but I'm also going to be doing sinking fund stuffing. So that means double the pleasure, double the funds. Get it? Funds? <laughs> so I'm going to be working with $200 today. So $100 for my savings challenges and $100 for my sinking funds. So I'm living it up because my last paycheck for summer school is coming in this week. So then after this last paycheck, things are gonna be pretty lean for about a month, maybe six weeks. So I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. So let's go ahead and stuff that money while we have it. So we're gonna start off with the savings challenge hundred. So here's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Hooey, I felt like an auctioneer there <laughs> for a second. So I'm gonna stick this here in the corner so I can work with it as I'm stuffing my envelopes. So the very first one would be the Starbucks challenge. However, I did not find any Starbucks again. So want, want, want to that. For the D-Bucks, as you can see with the letter D right here, I've got one, two, three, four, five this week that was sent to me by amanda over at budgeting like a girl thank you so much amanda i struck out on my own didn't find any so got 50 100 150 each paper clip is 10 so 160 170 180 85 86 87 88 89, 90, 91, 92. So I am $8 away from 200 D-Bucks. And my goal is to hit 285 before the year is over. So well on my way to that. So that is going really well. All right, next savings challenge. We're actually catching up with the IOU. Let me go ahead and move it up here. That might be better. The IOU that I ended up with last time. So it was the very first time playing the Loteria game. I pulled a 24, which was the highest number, and I only had 20 left. So that was a bit of a bummer and pretty embarrassing. So I'm gonna go ahead and first do the four, and I guess I'm gonna work backwards then on my challenges. Work my way backwards through the binder. So there's one, two, three, four. So we're putting Big Bertha in reverse for these savings challenges. All right, so now I should have 24, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, so it's time then to pick another card and that'll decide how much to put away. I am not a good shuffler. So... I'll do it a couple of times and hope for the best and just hoping that I don't end up with a big honking number. All right, here it goes. This is 16 is La Bandera. So La Bandera is the flag. Not too bad. So not a giant number, but not a small number. Big numbers make me sweaty, so this is kind of a half sweaty number. So 10, 15, and 16. I'm gonna go ahead and color in the 16. So la bandera, again, means flag. And the Mexican flag is actually really beautiful. I can consider it, I mean, I might be biased due to the fact that I'm Mexican, but, <laughs> but I think it's one of the prettiest flags out of all the flags in the world. Um, if you're not familiar with it, there's a cool story behind the flag and the whole reason why there is an eagle on some prickly pears holding a snake. I mean, it's cool, so Google that stuff and you can thank me later. <laughs> so 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 buckaroos. And I've only done this challenge twice. So that is moving along nicely. And there's my little borracho card, my little drunk man. 
So now you know borracho, drunk man, cotorro, parrot, and bandera, flag. I'm working on another fancy way to keep my money with the cash envelopes. It's not going well, to be perfectly honest. I had this great idea and it's just not panning out. But once I get it figured out, I'll be sharing it with you guys. because I'm pretty excited about it. All right, so next challenge is the August challenge. Even though we're in July, I'm trying to get this done before school starts. And so this one is for school supplies. I will be linking. I finally figured out how to do an Amazon wish list and be able to put it in my description box. So again, remember my wish list is literally just dry erase markers and snacks for the students. So if you go check out the wish list, you'll see that it's basically in the range of $4 to the most outrageous one with $15. I do, I honestly buy all my snacks for the students in Dollar Tree and I can really stretch my buck that way. But since a couple of people had requested an Amazon list, then it will be there. But it's a mix of kind of healthy-ish snacks so I don't want to be pumping them full of sugar and things like that. So they're on the healthier side, even though not all the way healthy because healthy is expensive. All right. So let's see. Right now we have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 in here. I'm going to pick a couple of numbers out of the jar and see what they are. So I drew a 5. And a four so nine bucks I'm gonna take, oops the ten and take the one so that's technically nine boy I'm making a mess so ten fifteen twenty twenty five twenty six there is a five right here so I'm gonna go ahead and color that one in this pretty pretty peach color and wow, that was messy. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't teach kindergarten because those poor kids, their own teacher wouldn't be able to show them how to color. All right, four. There it is. So that top row is filling in nicely. And the envelope is filling in nicely as well. I'm gonna get a head start on getting sweaty for this next one. This is also another back to school challenge. And so it makes me very, very, very nervous because I don't know what it is since it's a mystery scratch off. And so far I've already been hit with 220, so youch. So any of these savings challenges that I'm using, they're all listed in the description box down below. This one is from Cindy Cat Budgets and it's adorable, but it gives me heart attacks. Let's see, let's go for the one right in the middle and pray for mercy oh whoo, 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 thank goodness try to get as much of this scratcher stuff off as possible oh my gosh giant sigh of relief five bucks oh you are forgiven just for this week cindy <laughs> that is such a relief to have a small number so 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. All right, so next challenge. Ooh, look at all that scratcher stuff. Is a playing card challenge. So from Johanna, I read to black budgeting. There's the playing card. There's my cash. Part of it is an ally. The rest is in here. So let's hope it's not a joker. So no jokers. Little bucks, little bucks, no jokers. I'm also, does anybody else remember that? Big bucks, big bucks, no whammies. For me, it's little bucks, little bucks, no joker. All right, let's see. This is a 10 of clubs. Hopefully it'll focus on that. Do, 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 do. So a 10 of clubs. Good number. Not enormous, so no need for a heart attack. So there's my 10. Let me mark it down right here. At the 
this one away in a baggie so I don't lose it. So there's my cute little baggie of spent cards. Just so stinking adorable. They're so tiny, I don't want to lose them. So 100, 150 is an ally. I just got another email notification from them saying that the interest rate is going up again. So now it's up to 1.25%. So heck yeah. So this $150 that's sitting in there is making me money. And the cool thing is every month they pay me that money out, which is so nice. Such a difference from the bank I used to keep my money at. So 150, 60, 65, 70, 71 buckaroonies. This will be for my computer. I have been eyeing prices and trying to get the best deal, seriously considering a refurbished, com refurbished computer, refurbished. <laughs> and I have a friend that made me very nervous about it, but then my tight wired self is like, oh, but they're so cheap, they're so much cheaper. But you know, you're kind of taking a chance on whether that computer is gonna give you problems, which is why it was refurbished in the first place. All right, roll the dice. Let me get the money out of the way. Cover your ears if loud noises bother you. So here comes the Yahtzee cup. Oh man, I was kind of hoping there weren't any fives. So I do have a two. There's one two left right here. I have a five, I have another five. And the rest of the numbers, because my four row is closed out and my two row is now closed out, all together, that's just $1 that I'll be putting in for those. And then, so 5, 10, 15, oops, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 bucks. So 10, 11, 12, 13, Ooh, running out of ones. So there is the two, there is the five. And there's the other five. So basically, I'm gonna finish this game next week, which is great timing because after this, I'm gonna switch over to this one by Johanna at Red to Black Budgeting. And it's um, in three sections, so I'll only be rolling three dice. That means I'll be saving less money each week, but for a longer period, which works out perfect because again, my paycheck it's gonna shrink now that I'll be done with summer school in a couple of weeks. So perfect timing for this. So let's see, this has got 100 in Ally. And then let me arrange the other bills for the counting. So 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 66, 67. All right, if I know I need ones, I know where to get them. They're in this challenge right here. So if I run out of ones in the other games right now, I'll just come back and tap into this one. No money here. <laughs> I did not ride my bike at all, but I've been running back and forth between my town and my parents' town every single day ever since my mom's surgery. So just no time to be riding that bike. Plus those dang no CMs are still out attacking. All right, my travel mystery savings challenge. From Yureli, she has cash and plans. So I'm gonna go for this other one, just so it's not alone. I've got the happy little pair right here, and it better be a happy little number. Oh, <gasps> son of a biscuit. Yureli. Hijo la mujer. <laughs> all right, 22 bucks. Is that all of it? 10, 15, 20? 21, 22, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> All right, five, let's see, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, yep. There goes another five. I should have known better, oh man. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, yep. All 28 bucks are there. And my stress level is up there. <laughs> Oh no! So let's see how much I have left for the savings challenges. 5, 10, 15, 16 bucks. I might have another IOU in my future. Oh my gosh, I totally do. Oh no! I did not think that through well. What I'm going to do is dip into my purse. And I'm going to take out because I just need two more bucks. That's it. 
So here's a couple of bucks. So I can make it through these last two challenges before I get into my sinking funds. So the likes challenge, as you can see by the screenshot, I had a total of 171 likes. So thank you so very much for all of those likes. That means then that I'll be putting away $17. Let's go ahead and color this in first. And I'll put the 171 here. And the 17 here. Because remember, for every 10 likes, it's one buck. That looks like a little Smurf hand. Like, all right, way to go. Maybe a different color would have been better. <laughs> so 5, 10, 15, 16 plus the borrowed buck, 17 for this challenge. Oh no, all my money. You really have a lot of words in mind right now and they involve four letters, most of them. <laughs> so let's see, I've got 100 in ally. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. Ooh, I like that number. 123 bucks so far in my challenge. So don't forget to please hit the like button on this video. And then a week from today, I'll let you know how much it comes out to in terms of the 10 likes equal $1. And this is to save up to go do youtuber -y things. So if there's like a convention, because I heard rumor, I haven't heard anything more about it yet, but I heard rumor there was going to be kind of like a budget YouTuber mini conference. So if that happens in this year, that's where this money is going for. If not, I'll just keep building. All right, my next challenge is my subscriber challenge. And so this one, I know I need one more buck, which is why I took out this extra one from my wallet. As of the recording of this video, I have 2,070 subscribers. So thank you so much to everybody for subscribing, for watching, all of that stuff. It's amazing. I'm coming up on my one year anniversary, which is so exciting. And so to think that I'll have over 2000 subscribers when I hit my one year anniversary on YouTube is just so great. So there's my stamp for this one and five subscribes from now I can stamp the next one. So there is my buck. So 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, okay, another envelope that I know to tap into if I need wands right now with the sinking funds. All right, so this is the end of the savings challenges. However, I do wanna stuff money into my sinking funds and I have it stashed in the back. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So I have $100 save for it, but I'm gonna jump into this challenge first because this is the one that gives me a heart attack. It's also the one that makes me the most nervous because it's the biggest goal of 1,000. I'm gonna take this dang spinner out of here because it keeps landing on the 770. So I think it's because of the angle of the envelope. So in a desperate attempt not to land on the 70, I'm gonna put it here and pray to the little poopies that it doesn't land on the 70 again. I'm gonna put it right in the middle right here and give it a flick. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> All right, I think this challenge is rigged. What the heck? So 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Oh, good gravy. <laughs> Here come all those four little words into my mind again. So bleepity bleep bleep bleep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna do all these rows. So I'm closing out two rows of little poops today. And then that means that this week I have to run to the bank to deposit this cash because I don't like to have big amounts of cash in my home. So anytime I hit 100, it goes off to the bank and that gets transferred to Ally from there. So let's count those little turds. That means I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 for the rest of my sinking funds. How sad. <laughs> let's count my grand total. Yep, 
You are so in trouble, Mr. Spinner thing. So I've got the 20s, the 10s. 10s and 5s. So I have 100 so far already an ally. This adorable placeholder was sent to me by Carmen Ortiz's daughter, so I know I'll be using the other one she sent here. So let me go ahead and count. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I'm taking this 100 out to take back to the bank and I'm replacing it with this. And then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. $250 in my deductible and my goal is $100, I'm sorry, $1,000. So you know what? I'm a quarter of the way there. So even though I'm having all these heart attacks, that's a good thing. I'm a quarter of the way to the goal. So the heart attacks aren't a good thing. The fact that I'm 25% 25 to my goal is what's good. So even though this thing is giving me so much heck, I am thankful because that's the only way that I'll be this aggressive putting this much money towards it. Otherwise, I'd be like, oh, I'll just put aside $5 a week. And at least this way, I'm, I'm getting the job done quickly. So that's the benefit of savings challenges. It makes it fun and it makes you put away more than you normally would because it keeps you motivated and all that stuff. <laughs> I might go cry into my pillow after I'm done filming, but it'll be <laughs> worth it knowing I have money put aside. All right, so for my taxes i have 30 bucks left and there's 30 bucks here so what i'm going to do then is just put it into this so 5 10 15 20 25 30 that'll fill in this row and that'll make me very happy because i'm behind on this one so each one's worth 10 so i'm going to color in all three And I'm gonna go ahead, because I'm just plumb out of money, I'm gonna close out the one sinking fund that has been stressing me out, and I'm gonna redistribute that money among the other sinking funds. So can you guess which one it is that I'm gonna close out? So 50 an ally. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, another 50. I have one remaining $50 placeholder. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into here. Oh wait, no, now I can do this one. Blam, and now I have two remaining $50 placeholders. All right. So this money will go back to Ally. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yep, $100 left. So this is to have my taxes prepared. I forgot to mention that because my brain is scrambled with all these big numbers but this next one is the one that I am gonna retire this is the one that I keep stressing about should I renew my prime should I not so this is the plan I came up with my prime account renews in January so I was saving up hundred dollar hundred and forty dollars for January however I'm thinking Christmas is in December my prime is due in January. My birthday is in February. So I'm going to combine my Christmas money that I received from presents for Christmas, as well as my birthday money in February from gifts for my birthday. And that means I'll only go for one month without prime. So by combining those two in February, I can pay for one more year of prime and just quit stressing about this because I was always going back and forth. So if in February I'm dying for prime again, January will let me know how I do with or without prime. And if in February, I'm like, I totally need this. I can't live without you. Then I'll use my Christmas and birthday money for it. So that's my plan. So I'm going to take out this money then, retire this challenge, which is from Chrissy at the Mom Life. So it's linked down in my description box below. I'm going to take that money and allocate it in my other envelopes. So I got 20, 40, 55. So I already did this. I need to put 20 in my car fund for sure. Because I had been hoping to get new tires by August when I start driving to school every day. It's a pretty long commute, and so I want to make sure my tires are good. 
But last year they told me it was going to be about $700, $750. This was pre-inflation, so I know it's going to be a lot more now. So that means then I've got my $500 placeholder already in Ally 20, 40, 60, 80. So I have 580 one more 20 away from replacing this with the placeholder and depositing that money into Ally. I'm telling you, I love seeing that monthly money get deposited into there. So motivating to keep stuffing it. All right, this one, let me see what's left. Oh, okay. Ooh, perfect. Okay, so this one, I have $200 right now in Ally, as you can see with my placeholders. This was part of... I used to have $555, got wiped out when I took my cat to the vet. My dog has an appointment this week, so those $200 that are in there right now in Ally are pretty much spent in my mind because I know it's going to be at least that much. So I'm kind of pretending this money doesn't exist. And I'm going to start up on this one. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put 15 into here. And so this is from Cindy at Cindy Cat Budgets. And I'm gonna stamp the 15, so boop. And I'll start building this one up. And we shall see after this week's appointment how it goes. That leaves me just then with 20, which is perfect because that's what I'm doing for my gas savings challenge. What this is, is for my trips out of town. And so to go to Tucson, it's about $60 for a full tank of gas right now. And I have an appointment, a medical appointment in Tucson in August. So I'm saving it for that. So now this brings me peace of mind because now I know at least I have enough money for that trip to see the doctor in Tucson. So yay, hooray for savings challenges and peace of mind. So that's all taken care of and ready to go. That is it, this was a long one because I had so many challenges and all that extra money to put away for the savings challenges and the sinking funds. If you made it this far, you are a trooper. So go ahead and leave me a time emoji or a clock emoji because it took so long to get to this point. I really appreciate you being here and sticking with me. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.